here there are three rules every single kidney disease patient must follow to make sure their diet works you see, in a recent study, 120 stage 4 CKD patients were able not just to stop the decline of their kidney function, but to reverse it. They were actually able to see a significant improvement in kidney function at the end of this study. Their secret? a renal diet that was very easy to follow it was so easy they were able to learn everything about it in less than 20 minutes and there were only three rules they needed to apply to their diet in order to obtain what many still consider impossible a stable improvement in kidney function so, are you ready to learn the three most valuable pieces of information about the renal diet? Because you see, in 2024, the renal diet doesn't have to be hard anymore. It only has to be effective. And we can do that by following just three rules. Let's see what they are. Number three, turn your food into medicine. Okay, let's start with a very effective way to make sure your diet works. For too many years, the renal diet was some kind of elimination diet and doctors mostly focus on the foods that patients have to avoid. Now, don't get me wrong, avoiding certain things is a must for a diet that works. I'm talking about animal protein, ultra-processed and high GI foods, and foods with dangerous preservatives. But that's not what I want to focus on right now. You see, in my experience, it's much easier to be successful with a diet when we focus first on those things you need to eat, not those you need to avoid. So what I want you to focus on in 2024 are those foods that are good for you and you in particular. And what these foods are depends on what you want to treat, all right? Don't worry, I'll explain how this works immediately. Let's find foods that work as medicine. First, let's see a food that has huge benefits for diabetes. This one decreases sugar absorption in the digestive tract, leading to a more stable blood sugar response. Yes, if you have diabetes, most fruit and vegetables are great for you, but there are only a few veggies that can really make a positive difference with diabetes. One is okra. Okra has huge benefits for those with diabetes. It can actually lower your fasting glucose levels if you just add it to your diet. It's an incredibly powerful effect as this review of studies tells us. So add okra to your diet if you have diabetes. Now let's also see a food that can be medicine for people with high blood pressure. If you want to control your blood pressure, make sure you are eating beet. Beet is, in my opinion, one of the healthiest veggies out there, a must for kidney patients. This food really helps lowering blood pressure, says science. This root is naturally high in nitrates, a very powerful vas dilator that will lower your blood pressure while helping the heart during its job. Another food you absolutely want to consume regularly with high blood pressure is garlic. Garlic is a superfood everyone should have regularly, but especially those with high blood pressure. And there are more foods with medicinal properties. People with high cholesterol, for example, would benefit from eating oats more often, and those with gout from cherries. Yes, you can really turn your food into medicine if you eat the foods that are right for you. Now, something I recommend every single CKD patient is also eating foods that have detoxing properties. Certain detoxing foods are great for everyone. One example is asparagus. Asparagus is not just a super tasty vitamin powerhouse. It's actually a natural diuretic, which is very useful in order to help the kidneys do their job and to reduce swelling. And this benefit is strongly supported by science, by the way. 
Now, my advice with asparagus is to eat it raw if possible. Just grate some asparagus and put it in a salad. Remember that high temperatures and water can damage some of the nutrients in this superfood, so eat it raw. Another food you want for its detoxing benefits is ginger. Ginger has incredible properties. It fights diabetes, high blood pressure, and it can even relieve nausea. I mean, it's an all-around superfood for people with CKD. It can even help detoxing cadmium, a heavy metal that can deposit in the kidneys, damaging them. And you see, modern society exposes us to huge amount of cadmium every day. Cigarette smoking, even secondhand, and foods treated with pesticides are huge sources of cadmium exposure. And ginger, on the other hand, can help. This is why ginger is a food with very underrated benefits. So make it a part of your diet. You can consume it raw in small pieces or you can use it dried as a spice. Another food with super underrated detoxing benefits is the humble tangerine. I consider this fruit a detoxifier for two reasons. First, because it's a great source of vitamin C. Other than being a powerful antioxidant, vitamin C is probably the vitamin with the most powerful diuretic effect. Great to help the kidneys. The other benefit of the tangerine is its ability to help improve blood sugar control in people with type 2 diabetes. This fruit, in fact, contains nobaltine, a flavonoid that really helps people with diabetes. Wait, now you may ask, are we really supposed to eat fruit with diabetes? Well, I know that some people are still telling diabetes patients to avoid eating fruit, all right, but they are wrong. Let's see why. This is actually the next rule that will make following your diet as easy as possible. So, our rule number two for a diet that really works is use carbs as your main energy source, even with diabetes. Now guys, some people will tell you that you should not eat fruit with diabetes or to avoid carbs in general. Well, that's misinformation. You see, as I was saying, the best way to make your diet work is by focusing on those foods that are healthy for you. And when it comes to treating kidney disease with the diet, there is one category of foods that should always be your number one dietary staple, low GI carbs. Let me be very clear on this. If you want to improve your kidney health, you must get the largest part of your daily calories from healthy fruits and veggies, aka low GI carbs. But why is this so important? Because my main focus here on double O kidney is presenting you with large studies in which a big number of CKD patients were able to improve, all right? And well, in every single one of these studies, CKD patients were eating mainly plant-based unprocessed foods. I've never seen in my life a single study in which CKD patients improved by following a keto or a paleo or any other fat diet like that. What you want is a diet with carbs as your main energy source, all right? As an example, in the study I've mentioned earlier, carbs were the main source of calories for all the patients that reversed their kidney disease. Now, very important. This is also true for people with kidney disease and diabetes, all right? And I know that some diabetes patients find it hard to believe that they must eat more carbs. So I will show you another study very briefly before we see what foods are the best carb sources. This one is published on the British Medical Journal, which is literally the fourth most important medical journal in the world. What this says is that if you have diabetes, you should still get the biggest part of your calories from carbohydrates while limiting your intake of processed meat in particular. So I think that's 100% proven today that the only way to improve your kidney function is to eat carbs from plant-based sources as your main dietary staple. So question, what foods should always be present on your table? A great example is red potato. Potatoes are rich in nutrients and fiber. 
They are a gluten-free carb source that's also low on the GI scale, especially if you cook them the right way. Choose red potatoes if you are diabetic. They are lower on the GI scale than regular potatoes. Potatoes are high in potassium, so keep that in mind if your doctor hasn't figured out how to treat this issue yet. Now, another great carb source for every kidney disease patient, including those with diabetes, is corn. Contrary to popular belief, corn does not cause any unhealthy spike in your blood sugar levels. Corn is rich in fiber, great to help absorbing sugar and carbs more slowly. It will also provide you many essential nutrients. Let's see more super healthy carb sources. Turnips are also great for a renal diet. Turnips contain several anti-inflammatory plant compounds associated with disease-fighting properties. These fruit vegetables are loaded with fiber and vitamin C. They are also a decent source of vitamin B6 and manganese. One veggie that's even lower on the GI scale is carrot. Carrots are also great because they are full of fiber and they also contain beta-carotene. Beta-carotene, the water-soluble form of vitamin A, helps the kidneys fill their toxins out of the blood and it may even help prevent urinary tract infections according to studies. And well, there are other foods you could eat, but these are very solid choices. In short, if you want to improve your kidney health, make sure most of the foods you eat are plant-based, single ingredient, unprocessed foods. Now, as I was saying, there are some foods you also need to avoid. And yeah, that's going to be our number one rule for today. Once you have found the perfect foods that make you healthy, also make sure you are avoiding those foods that have hidden dangers for your kidneys. Yeah, I'm not going to bore you with a list of foods that contain protein or phosphorus or sugar or trans fats. I believe that all of you guys know very well that you must avoid meat, fish, dairy, most packaged foods, snacks, sweets, and sugary beverages. There are, however, some plant-based foods that come with hidden dangers for people with kidney disease. And you also want to know about that if your goal is to reverse kidney disease. An example of plant-based foods with hidden dangers are dried fruits. Because, you see, most dried fruits are way too high in potassium to be really recommended. When these fruits are dried out, many nutrients are lost, but not potassium. In fact, dried apricots, for example, have about 1,850 milligrams of potassium per 100 gram serving. That's a huge amount! That's like eating five bananas in one sitting! So, while almost all high potassium fruit and veggies are not forbidden anymore for people with CKD and potassium levels under control, dried fruits may still be dangerous. Do not overindulge in them. Talking about plant-based foods with hidden dangers, I also need to mention canned veggies. Canned veggies may be either very good or very bad for you. The reason? The huge amount of sodium some food brands put in canned veggies. Fact, according to a recent statistic, over half of the packaged foods that are sold as healthy are too high in fat, sodium and sugar. To make sure this is not damaging your kidneys, read all the labels of the packaged foods you eat very well. Excess sodium or salt in the diet is one of the worst causes of hypertension, heart and kidney disease. Canned vegetables are especially dangerous. They tend to be higher in sodium since salt is often used as a preservative. For example, a half cup serving of canned peas has around 310 milligrams of sodium. Now also keep in mind that this danger can be limited if you rinse canned foods very well or if you can find brands that sell low sodium canned vegetables. Even more dangerous when it comes to plant-based foods is vegetable oils for frying. Vegetable oils come with two dangers. First of all, oil is very caloric dense. Oils in general are actually the most caloric dense food item that there is. Very bad if you need to lose weight. The second reason why vegetable oil is dangerous is because most people use oil for frying and this is bad. Fried foods are high in saturated and even worse, trans fats. These fats have been linked to increased blood cholesterol levels, 
more arterial plaque, heart and kidney damage, even cancer. Don't fry your foods. And this may seem bad, but there is a hidden danger in plant-based foods that's even worse. This is maybe the most serious danger you can face in your renal diet. Eating too much protein without noticing it. Legumes, nuts, certain grains, they can all be too rich in protein if eaten with abundance. Don't get me wrong, in moderation, these foods may be extremely healthy for you, but you have to be careful with their protein content. Most legumes and soy in particular are high in protein. Same for quinoa, amaranth, most whole grains, but also peanuts and almonds. I mean, every veggie, such as broccoli, spinach, asparagus, artichokes, have protein in them. But how dangerous are these foods actually? Well, they can be very good for you if you eat them in the right amount, but they can also be very bad. And guys, this is a way bigger issue than most people realize. According to a recent study, excess protein intake is possibly the main reason why most patients cannot improve. What this study points out is that even under the guidance of a dietitian, most CKD patients are not able to control their protein intake effectively. What to do then? I've actually made a full video to explain this serious problem and also to share with you the solution. It's up here and also down in description. And if you want to see more foods that are super healthy, this other video is for you. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye.